All right, geometry. So we're looking at 1, 5, exploring angle pairs. Um, and again, notice the standard is still the same. No precise geometric definitions. Again, I cannot emphasize enough. Right now, I'm telling you, for the last four sections, vocab, vocab, definitions. And unlike segments, angles have a lot more different relationships in this class. So again, I think angles are harder for some students to grasp. So we need to do a really good job of trying our best to get a handle on all these different angle pairs. All right, very important lesson here today. All right, so we're looking here at a couple different types of angle pairs. So the first pair is called adjacent angles. They are two coplanar angles with a common side, a common vertex, and no common interior points. So we look at this picture here. Uh, angle one and angle two are adjacent. Angle one opens to the left, angle two opens to the right. They share a vertex and they share this common side and they don't share any common interior points. Same thing with three and four. Now for me, when I think of adjacent, I think of the words next to, right? There are two angles that are next to each other and there's no overlap. So keep that in mind. One angle is not overlapping the other angle. They're completely separate, but next to each other. Okay, so again, uh, angle one and two share this side. Angle three and four share this side, and they are completely separate. Awesome. Vertical angles now. This is a huge, huge angle pair that we talk about. Vertical angles are two angles whose sides are opposite rays. So if you look here at this picture, we have two lines intersecting. When you have two intersecting lines, they create two pairs of vertical angles. So if we look at angle one, angle one, you have this side, and I'll turn it red, and this side. Those are the two sides of angle one. Well, look at angle two. Angle two's sides are this side, an opposite ray to that side of angle one, and this side, an opposite ray of that side of angle one. So angle one and angle two are a vertical angle pair. So are three and four. Now I like to think of, because it's vertical angles, think of the V, right? So vertical angles are a V up, and a V down, a V to the left, a V to the right. So think of that V, vertical angles. Very important angle pair that we talk about. All right, next we have two maybe uh, words you might be familiar with, complementary. Complementary are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. Each angle is called the complement of the other. So this first example of angle one and angle two, this is your adjacent example, ADJ. Right, angle one and angle two are adjacent. They share this common side. And notice that if they're going to be complementary, if they're going to add up to 90, notice this right angle box. That would make sense. Angle one, angle two, they're adjacent. They make the right angle. Right angle. That is probably your most common complementary angle pair picture. Two angles making that right angle. Um, then you have... Uh, an example of non-adjacent. So angle A and angle B are completely separate, but if you add 47 and 43, they do get you 90. Okay. Now, supplementary, again, much more important. Supplementary are two angles who have a sum of 180 degrees. And again, each angle is called the supplement of the other. So this is the adjacent example right here. Very, 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 very common example. Two angles that make a straight line, right? They share this side, three and four would add up to 180. Now they're telling you also that B and C are supplementary. So these two angles right here. And again, they are completely separate. So they're non-adjacent. Uh, but if you add 43 and 137, you get 180. Okay, excellent. All right. So now we're going to talk about another very, 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 very important pair of angles called a linear pair. This is used so often. And we actually just talked about it. It's a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays, whose non-common sides form a line whose linear pair form a straight angle. So they are two angles that form a line, that make a straight angle. There are two angles that make 180 degrees. 
So the linear pair postulate should only make sense to you. If two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. They add to 180 because they make a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. So here's my picture here, right? We have uh, this line or straight angle, you call it straight angle ABC or line AC, right? Two letters for a line. So you have this angle right here, I'll call it angle one. You have this angle right there, angle two. So angle ABD, angle one, and angle DBC, angle two, they are adjacent, they form a line, so they're supplementary, linear pair. Now let's go into Desmos geometry and let's construct a uh, linear pair. So I, I invite you, when I do this in Desmos Geometry, you can do the same thing. I invite you to do it with me. All right, so let's start with a line. And let's call those points A and B. Again, it's great practice, right? And then let's put a point in between them, not, not the midpoint, just somewhere in between them. Let's call that C. And let's put a point up here, and let's call that point D. And let's go ahead and make a ray C, D. Cool. And now I've created a linear pair, right? Two angles that form a line. Let's measure those two angles. So angle A, C, D, 62. So now, before you even do it, what should angle D, C, B, B? Right? If you're thinking, okay, they have to add up to 180, so let's do a subtraction. 180 minus 162. If you can't do that in your head, go ahead and grab the graphing calculator. Right, all these online tools right at your fingertips. And you can always pause my video and do it yourself. 180 minus, minus 62, that's 118. I'm going to estimate or I'm going to, uh, we call that uh, predict, right? That this is 118. D, C, and look at that, 118. And now watch what happens as I move D. Look what happens to the pair of angles, 150 and 30. Still 180, so the relationship maintains the linear pair idea. All right, so keep that in mind. All right, great. So I'm going to stop the video here, and uh, we'll continue uh, with uh, more notes in the next video.